How's it going? Que pasa, amigos? Welcome to the show with the Mo. Welcome to Quick Tin Cookings, and I'm joined by the one, the only, the darkest Bangladeshi in London. How's it going, my friend? Yo soy Anik, don't panic, cause I wasn't in Titanic. And if you don't like it, he will make your family disappear. Okay, welcome to episode two of Quick Tin Cooking. Well, we're going to show you how to make a delicious, cheap, affordable, but an energizing dish straight out of World War II. We are an Uzi here, we've got protection. It's gonna get busy, frisky. That's what Scrap. it's about. Scrap, pop, pop. Let's check out the ingredients which we bought only for 12 pounds because Brendan told me to give it a try. And wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Señoras y señores, guys, we're gonna go right into the ingredients right now. We have cherry tomatoes, nice and tasty. Second up, we have potatoes. You take the skin off, wash them. These are gonna go golden fried, nice and beautiful. Then we have normal tomatoes. These are gonna form the base of our sauce, which is gonna be super tasty. We've got a bit of radish, which gonna, is gonna be sprinkled on top of the whole thing. We have eggs in a beautiful cast iron pan. Look how East London this is. Nice chicken eggs right here. Then we have a bit of vegetable miscellaneous. We have a few uh, onions that we cried about, a bit of paprika. Then we have Can a you bit wash of... your hands before? Sorry. Yes, I did. Then we have a bit of miscellaneous green stuff, a bit of cheese, a bit of sauce, Worcestershire sauce, super mm -hmm. English, I can't even pronounce that. And the star of the show right here, it's beef. This beef straight out of Sainsbury's, five pounds, it's nice and thick. Let me tell you, this could keep a family fed for over two weeks, but us, because we're fat, it's gonna last barely one evening. I'd say we should get right into cooking a bit of cinematic. We'll explain you what we're doing later on. Let's get right into it. Hoods up, let's go. Brother, sister, did you hear that? Our heartbeat cut into the ether. Star drifters, can you feel that? One love can make us all believers. A generation of renegades. We don't have to stay alone So brother, sister Can you see our light guide us home? Explosion in my mouth right now. That's a, that's a bit of a cliche. It's really, really, really good. So the meat is done. The food is ready. Look how beautiful it looks. Come on, Brendan. Go in. Insane. You go. I mean, look at this. We'll do a bit of a it zoom there. It's colorful. Oh it's me delicious. It's delicious. It's fantalicious. It's quick thing. Let's tell cooking. them how to get there. All right. Now, first, you get the cast iron pan. Get a really hot. The hipster one? Yeah, the hipster one. You stick the meat in. Three minutes each side. Put salt and pepper in it. And then, once it's brown enough, Enough. <laughs> Stick it in the oven. That was an awkward pause. Next thing, you get the non-stick pan. Now this time, you stick a little oil in it because you want 
your potatoes to be as beautiful as brown as this. You saute the potatoes. Once they're ready, you stick them in the oven as well. Now, you leave the potatoes and the steak cooking for about seven to eight minutes in the oven so that they get totally cooked. They get brown on the outside, inside they get totally cooked. Then you saute the onions. What does that One mean? Minute. Basically you just stick them in the frying pan until they're nice, squidgy, done. No, not squidgy, until they're kind of translucent, but cooked. So squidgy. It looks cooked, not squidgy. <laughs> it does not look cooked. <laughs> Once that's done, it's time to make the whole thing come together. Everything is in a different plate. You want everything to come together, look as beautiful as it is. You want your food to be appealing to your eyes as well, not only to your stomach, which we all know it is. What we want to do is we want to add a bit of all of this. We want to add some greens, as you can see, and most importantly, we want to add an egg as well. And then we're basically done with the whole thing. Yeah, um, you add a little bit of stock as well, a little bit of um, chicken and beef stock, a little bit of water just to make, you know, formulate a little sauce around it. <laughs> and you stick all of them together, you put the eggs in. Now, this is going to go in the oven for about 10 minutes, and that's it. We are almost ready. There's one last step, which I'm going to tell you later on. Okay, so let's put it in the oven. Let's get her going. There you go. Beautiful. And on that note, we'll see you guys when all of this stuff is ready. Yeah, so we've now put the cheese in, as you can see, a beautiful right there. Anik, how long does this go in the oven for? Two minutes. Two minutes, it's just gonna melt and then this dish is gonna be ready. So we're gonna put it into the oven. It doesn't even know how to open the oven. Because I'm holding a camera, you know? Sure. It's gonna be beautiful. We'll see you guys when this is ready. Two minutes. Shit. Okay guys, so now the food is ready. It's and ready. As you can see here, it's ready. Show them, Francesca. Look at this. Beautiful. It's actually Francesca is my girlfriend. Shout out. Francesca, Ooh, maybe no! on Instagram, tag her. Hashtag Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, this meal took us. Okay, we spent a ton of time filming, but in reality, this meal takes you how much? Half an hour? Oh, 20 minutes tops. 20 minutes. It's easy. It costs us £12.50, right? Pretty cheap. You put that on top of the 10 pounds you're gonna spend on the tequila to be drunk enough to actually get this done. That's a full on me. <laughs> and you have a full on meal. And to be honest, these two pounds should last you probably two, two days. Um, and because the food is delicious, um, it shouldn't get old. Anyway, that was episode two of Quick Tin Cooking. I hope you I guys this too. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. And um, if you did, smash the like button, subscribe. We're gonna do this every week, and soon we're gonna do it twice a week, where we're gonna maybe you know do some out about in London kind of stuff. Also, next week we're coming up with an Instagram page, a Facebook page, a Twitter page. If you don't you like it, it if you page. don't like it, we're gonna support you to Bangladesh right off. And best then, place on planet Earth. <laughs> probably. It's not, it's not a bad thing to be deported there. Anyway, guys, my name is Brendan. This is Anik, straight from Titanic. Follow us on Instagram below. The power of tags will be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See you guys next time and enjoy the food. Hashtag quick things cooking. Bye.